On this Labor Day, both the Miami-Dade and Broward teachers unions are in a fight for survival. An election is underway to simply remain in existence. Local 10's Glenna Milberg live in Miami Springs with the details. Andrew, this is all fallout from a new state law that makes it more difficult for all unions, employee unions, to collect dues and to reach these minimum standards of membership. So in Miami-Dade, unprecedented teachers are voting right now for their own future. A Labor Day tribute to workers, those in the trenches. You get a seat at the table. And backlash to a new state law that puts guardrails on union membership. And for the first time in half a century, puts United Teachers of Dade up for a membership election for its very existence. Our membership knows exactly what they stand to lose, and they will not allow us to lose that. This ballot mailed to some 30,000 teachers and employees with a choice of whether to keep UTD as their rep, have no union, or a new organization called Miami-Dade Education Coalition, a new group funded by the politically conservative group, the Freedom Foundation, that actually helped write that law that makes it harder for Florida's labor unions to exist. We feel like there's a lot of shell games that happen by the district that UTD essentially doesn't really pursue. With. That's MDEX president on This Week in South Florida Sunday. Local leadership recruited and funded by Freedom Foundation, saying they want to take politics out of the teachers' union, though its website outlines pretty partisan conservative plans. If they're putting millions behind you in this effort, what is their ask in return from you? There's nothing. For them, it's just an, an aligning of, of the same values on that one accord. Why would someone want to allow monies to come to them from an entity that are out to destroy unions? So that voting is underway by mail. As we speak, results are due in September 24th. Meanwhile, we are one month, you know, into the school year, and Miami-Dade teachers are working without a contract. I'm Glenna Milberg, live in Miami Springs today, Local 10 News. Thank you.